open all the churches for God to have mercy, Oyedepo warns. The founder of the Living Faith Church, Bishop David Oyedepo, has warned the nations of the world that it is a great risk for the temple of God to be shut down because of the pandemic. While speaking at the morning devotion of his church this morning, the 9th of April 2020, the man said, the man of God stated categorically that leaders of nations are living in fear and that fear kills faster than death. He prayed against this spirit. He's in the word of God from Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 to 15. The bishop compared the churches to hospitals as he believes a lot of people come into the church and get their healing. And he now asks, can the hospitals be closed down? Can they shut down power lines from supplying power to the people? He said the church is like a power line for Christians and should not be shut down for any reason. The clergy shared the word of God from 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 to 16. The bishop then asked some rhetorical questions like, can you stop your child from going to school because someone in the school died? Can you stop going to work because your colleague slumped and died? Do you stop flying because you lost a friend to an air crash? He concluded by saying it's time to release people back to work and on the streets because we can't be praying victory and acting defeat. He said that men of God like him have been praying and God has answered them but the government must not give up to the spirit of fear wow okay the question now says do you agree that the man of God do you agree the man of God that the lockdown should be cancelled I feel that these are personally I don't feel they're appropriate enough to this pandemic this we're talking about a, a disease that's highly a virus that's highly contagious and for your survival, it depends on individual immunity. So how good your immunity is depends whether you, you can fight the virus off or not. And people are living with grandparents, we're living with the vulnerable, and a lot of people have underlying health issues. So they're probably not, their immunity, their body is fighting what they already have, and then adding the virus makes it worse. The churches need to stop thinking that, it's only when you come to church that you can be a Christian. I believe that the church is to be able to groom people to be an in, to be independent in Christianity, whereby they can be able to ha- take the responsibility by themselves to read the Bible for themselves and practice the word of God as they've already been taught. If they've done their work to teach the um, people to be independent in Christianity and know what they want to do and take on the responsibility that the Christian race is your own race and your pastor will not help you get into heaven then they would instill that responsibility into the congregation to be independent enough to pray at home you don't need to come to church until you receive your healing people need to that's manipulation because then you start vulnerable people and gullible people start thinking that it's until when they go to church that they're going to receive blessings from god which is absolutely not the case and says he says can you stop your child from going to school because someone in their school died this is not it's not appropriate to the pandemic that is contagious. Because one person dies, it does, if the disease was not contagious, then it's a different thing. But the disease, or the virus, I mean, is highly contagious. And in Nigeria, where the healthcare system is literally down, we're talking what first cl- um, class countries, first world countries, that they have amazing healthcare. They are struggling, let alone the healthcare system in Nigeria that is bad when we're talking about the standard of living of people, the income they earn, they can't be able to treat themselves and you want them to still go about their day. It is a lot. And if you have a lot of people dying with an irresponsible government, not willing to pay or improve the healthcare system, that would in turn affect the economy of the country. So at the end of the day, countries are stuck. A lot of businesses are crashing even in first world countries so i don't understand how nigeria that's already crushed already would get even crushed the more so it doesn't make sense he's he's it, he needs to understand that it's a pandemic that is highly contagious and it's deadly if your immunity is not high for the fact that they've not even found a cure or a vaccine for this it shows that you know the progress has not been made and the only way to stop the spread is just when you stay in your houses at the end of the day nigeria Nigeria's situation is very different because when we're talking about a lockdown, it, everything is just so disorganized that it, it it's only if you have your money and you have a place to stay that's going to work for you. In first world countries, we're talking majority of the um the population can't go to work, but most of them have places to stay. The shops are open at designated times for the elderly, for the NHS staff. The NHS staff they are really being um 
treasured by the countries to make sure that they are enough some of them are even outnumbered by the number of patients that they have so they are struggling themselves so a system that's already failed that's not moving forward will not will crash even them as in like the country will literally just explode at this point because nigeria is not an organized country where everything we can be confident to say that everything is in place so what he's saying is very deceitful is very manipulative people need to understand that you can't be ignorant about the the deadliness of this virus and you need to stay at home so don't listen to him stay at home stay at home please put your comments and what you think in the comment section below and do not forget to like and subscribe